many decades. I've worked with Keith Stroop and Alan St. Pierre of Normal, the National Organization for the Reform of the Marijuana Laws, to try to change drug policy in the United States and elsewhere in the world. I really believe that uh, the marijuana laws are a terrible injustice. They make no sense scientifically, eth ethically, legally, or any way. They cost a fortune to enforce, and we incarcerate hundreds of thousands of people who've done nothing else but possess or distribute marijuana. Maybe it's because I'm a child of the 60s, and marijuana has been such a positive part of my life. I've never seen it as being addictive, having spent weeks and months and days of my life and years without using marijuana in any form. For me, it's a kind of a sacrament. You okay, Leo? For me, it's a kind of a sacrament, something that should be used wisely and in the context of a loving family existence. And one of the tragedies of prohibition is that it makes people lie so much about something they shouldn't be lying about. I'm really proud of the fact that my children were the last of their friends to experiment with any kind of drugs because we never lied to them about drugs and because when we did tell them about substances that we think are dangerous, they believed us because they knew we could be trusted. So I'd just like to say that as former president of the Normal Advisory Board and as a lifelong activist hoping to see the marijuana laws changed in my lifetime, that you know anything that's used responsibly, in moderation, and as a part, a normal part of life, not as a hidden, secret, criminal enterprise, but something that's done in the context of the family. You know, our family prefers marijuana to alcohol. There's a place for alcohol, too. But there's no reason why adults shouldn't be allowed to do something which not only does not harm themselves or others, but is a way to enhance the beauty of life, the beauty of eating, of listening to music, of being with friends and family, of being with the one you love. There's really no limit to the possibilities as long as it's done within the context of a healthy personality and life. And so um, that's why I've spent so much of my time working to change the marijuana laws. I don't think it's right that middle class people like me can be free to do what we want where other people who don't have our resources can see everything they've worked for taken away from them for the use of something which is certainly not as harmful as tobacco or alcohol.